Hello, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and I have a special guest today. She has starred in the movies like Dope, Lady and the Tramp, and will be returning as Iris West in the upcoming The Flash movie. But right now, she is playing Derica on the adult animated comedy series Fairfax, coming to Amazon Prime on October 29th. Please welcome Kiersey Clemens. Hey, Kiersey. Hi, how are it's, you? I'm great. It's great to see you. Aww. Thank you. Good to see you too. Yeah, I have already watched several episodes of Fairfax and I love it. Absolutely wow. love it. The nonstop jokes, references are fire, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty tight. They are tight. Uh, this show pokes fun at a lot of real issues in clever ways. That's why I really enjoy it. Uh, and I got a kick out of the Shans of Sunset because my name is Sean and I'm actually Persian. So I thought oh. that bit is perfect for me yes! that is just brilliant that makes me so happy <laughs> i don't know were y'all thinking of me when y'all were doing that i don't know that just spoke I to me obviously you. I you. <laughs> no that was awesome um when you were approached to do fairfax what impressed you the most about it when i was approached to do fairfax what um i like, just what stood out thank you i i really loved that we could remind everybody that comedy doesn't die because we have more awareness of the world and we respect people. Um, we can still touch on what the world looks like. Commentary still exists um, and you can do all of it. I think it actually takes more critical thinking uh, and the need to be ironic uh, and it's satire. And, and I really appreciated that and I loved that it was a show that I could also trust the creators because they know what's going on in the world. Um, and that's important when you go into an animation because you have no idea what's going to be said, what things are going to look like and where it's going. Right, right. That's true. And that's what's so clever about the show, how they're approaching these issues. Have you done voiceover for animation before? Because you kill it on the show as Derica. You, you're just perfect for it. Thank you. Um, I did last year. I did. Well, it came out last year. Scoob. There's an animated Scooby-Doo. That is right. I actually love that movie so much. It brought my inner child out. And you were in that. That is correct. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was fun. I feel like I tried to make my voice a little different for Dee Dee. Um, but I don't know if it necessarily worked. But I, I learned a lot on Scoob that, I, that helped me going into Fairfax about how to utilize my voice and try different things and make it sound like you're running and jumping and stuff, which is just at first so embarrassing. And then after a while, you're like, okay, got it. Yeah. I mean, throughout the show, you know, Derica goes through all her different moods. So you see a little bit of everything from her. <laughs> uh, what makes, what makes this adult animated series stand out from the rest that are out there? Someone asked this before and Skylar answered it so well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what makes it stand out? It's hard for me to um, compare because I don't really watch other adult animation. Well, I think I'm going to now so that I can get an understanding of what else is out there. I was just solely focused on Fairfax. Um, but I do think as far as I know, it's the only animation that has the, it, it's solely based around what is currently happening with Gen Z with the generation that's changing everything right now. Um, and all of the jokes and the humor are entirely current and you kind of have to have an understanding of what's going on right now on social media. It's niche. Um, yeah. So I think that's what makes it stand out. Yeah. Yeah, every part of that show works and it's perfect for today. It's just so current and up to date. So that's what's so awesome about it. What yeah. parts of Derrica do you see in yourself, actually? I mean, we're pretty similar. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm a little bit more laid back than Derrica is, but we have a lot of the same worldviews. Our values, I think, are the same. Um, I'm very similar to Derrica, I'm going to have to say. You're the ideal Derrica. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, did you have any freedom to improvise while you were recording? Oh my God, yeah, it's so fun. We just throw out the most ridiculous things 
and you like just see how far you can take a joke before someone is like, okay, we can't use that. Um, it's really fun. I love it. So is there a lot, a lot of it that made it to into the show? Yes, there is a lot where, whether it's like whispering a line and then we do a version where we yell it to get to see how that turned out is really cool. Um, or just throwing words around, like what do kids say now? Like, would I say this is fire? Like you just said, or <laughs> is it dope? I say rad, do other people say that? Um, I'm like texting my little sister on the side. Like, what would you say if something was really cool and impressive? Um, so yeah, it, it, we did a lot of improv and putting all of our millennial brains together and seeing what comes out. <laughs> Yeah, y'all have a lot of great guest stars. Does one stick out to you? What was your favorite? Um, I'm gonna have to say that Billy Porter was my favorite because I. That's Billy Porter. <laughs> That's why. I mean, Billy Porter is amazing. So I, I love like seeing him in this. I feel like when we did our cable read and Billy came on for the first time, everyone was just on Zoom. Like, like the energy <laughs> changed. <laughs> So much admiration. Um, yeah, it was really cool. And then did you have an episode you had the most fun doing? Yes, I think my favorite episode is where Derica has this storyline where she becomes a girl uh, boss and it's so funny. It's hilarious. I love, I know exactly the kind of people that they're talking about. I mean, every detail, it was, I, I thought it was so funny. That's my favorite episode. And there was supposed to be a season two coming. Did y'all already record all those yet? We did. And like, as we've been doing these interviews, I'm like season one and season two are running together. And I actually don't know if like what I'm talking about, anyone's gonna, I don't even know if that storyline is in season one or season two, but it's my favorite. So who cares? Well, what should we expect from season two? Um... I don't know because everything runs together. And as far as I'm concerned, it's all season one. Um, season two, actually there's this, we dig into Derricka's identity and her sexuality. And that is so rad because she's so young and like aware of herself and not afraid to go for it. And it's really beautiful that she has this journey in this show. Oh, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to season two. I'm not sure you can speak much about it, but for the Flash movie, Flash, how excited yeah. for, for the was, Flash movie, how excited can we be for it? How ex the excitement level should be high, right? Um, I think that everyone should be very excited. I it's the direct it's Andy, like the fact that we didn't know when the movie was gonna happen and who was gonna be leading us. Um, and I'm really happy that. It's Andy, I'm a fan of his and he's incredible and um, everyone should be very excited. I think it's gonna be a lot more than people <laughs> think it's gonna, I think people expect to be impressed, but the, the, the minds that have come up with this iteration of the Flash is Flashpoint. Yeah, we're all excited to see that and we're excited to see more of you. And one last thing, can I get a follow on Instagram? <laughs> I don't see why not. What is your Instagram? <laughs> oh, we're being serious. That was just a joke from the show because everyone wa wants the follows, but definitely I, I love it. Follow on Instagram. I don't see why not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, what's your handle? Okay, that yeah, definitely. That I need to follow someone from, yes, thank you for that. Yes, I'll follow you. Oh, definitely. You can follow me at Chantage. I forget that you said the Sean thing. This is funny. yeah. So show him to sunset, so it works. <laughs> like montage, I love it. Okay. Yeah, there you Bye. go. No, this was awesome. I appreciate your time and looking forward to watching more. Definitely, Fairfax is a must watch. So thank you so much, Kersey. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, and don't miss Amazon Studios' newest adult animated hype series, Fairfax, premiering October 29th on Amazon Prime Video. Once again, this is Chantage, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and make sure to visit nerd-tropolis.com for your daily dose of movie news, reviews, and trailers.